Okay, guys. Um, welcome to Sami FX. Today we'll be going over the weekly outlook for for the week, which is like the final week of February. Today's date is, as you can see from my timeline, today's date is twenty uh, fifth of February. Twenty uh, fifth of February, twenty twenty four. So we'll be going over a few selected pairs um, in our watch list. So, so yeah let's let's begin without much ado so normally we like to go from the high time frame which is like a monthly so let's start with um gbp usd now for gbp usd uh we are close to a resistance but if we drop down to the weekly if we drop down to the weekly we can see that um but let's see drop down to the daily and we'll drop down to the daily we can see that here yeah, or even to the four hour there is a there is a mini uptrend here that is expected to take us to 1.27 from here 1.27 to 7600 uh but i will not want to think that there's any sell opportunity here yet i expect i expect this pair to to move down here and then go here before dropping ultimately so i'll be watching for i'll be watching for a break of this i'm watching for a break of this trend line that has a form there sorry i'm watching for a break of this trend line yeah this mini trend line that has been formed there i said that the market to get a push up to this level and then probably when it breaks this uh when it breaks this trend then we'll be in for i think we'll be looking at short opportunities which will be somehow uh something like this that is after the break of this trend line we'll be looking for this but if it doesn't give us the kind of opportunities that we're looking for then we'll be targeting the higher levels and that would be that would mean that if the pair breaks above this level above this um resistance we'll be looking at the we'll look at the next level yeah i think the next level is somewhere here at the 1.3 level so we're expecting the market to push up to this level and i think that's it for gbp usd but i think i'm more short buyers because we can have this pair go all the way down here yeah all the way down here which is around the uh, 1.22 1.21 i think that's what i'm looking out for that is if i see a strong uh, cell confirmation here and then later a break of this level yeah i think we'll be looking at overall long term sales for gbp usd so switching now over to gbp jpy <laughs> GBP JPY has been playing around, it has been playing around, it doesn't want to play ball. First of all, it's not expecting our key levels that we mapped out initially. It's supposed to be, but it's still bullish, it's still bullish because as you can see, it keeps making higher highs and higher lows, showing that it's in an uptrend. But I'll be very careful with this pair. Um, looking at the already mapped out zone, this level here. 1.195.96 uh, 1, or let's just say 1, 196 level we'll be looking at uh, a monthly resistance here so if we drop down to our weekly time frame and also drop down to our daily time frame i would want to see the price the price can actually move here but this is not supposed to be so if we just go here and then tank all the way back down but Conservatively, I expect a slight dip here before we either break this resistance uh, before going to this higher level. Price could also do this, give us an M formation here without breaking this resistance. So we are still watching this pair to see how it reacts as GBP um, JPY. Now looking at um, GA, okay. Um, I think GA is behaving like a pair that wants to go for a shot, but I will not join into this pair now because we already missed the trade and uh, there's no need chasing the market. 
I don't think there's any there's no need going into this pair now because looking at it, it has already gone. Now we'll be looking at this key trend line. Um, we're looking at this key trend line because it might yeah, that's why I say the pair is already gone. I don't really see any opportunities here for GA. Well, we might just expect the market to get to this lower trend line or this lower channel before going back up. But ultimately, I would like to see this before I look for a short. Yeah. Or we can even take a little risk. And then when it drop, touches this point, we can now go for this kind of a, a position. But I doubt this is a very good trade. Uh, it's, it's like you're forcing the trade. So I doubt this is a good trade. But yeah, that's just what I have for GA. I really don't think there are opportunities on GA yet. So AU. Overall, we have this um, big, huge channel, the downward channel. We are hoping that uh, it respects this point on AU. Uh, if, it, if it gets to this point, let's see if it gets to this point and then it cannot turn back to this place or can decide to break here and then do a kind of mini retest for going up. Overall, I don't really see any opportunities on AU because the position of the pair is looking very uncertain. There are no confirmations for me on AU. So, um, gold. I think I'll just stop on gold. Maybe in the comment section, if you have any other pair that you want me to review, I'll be glad to review it. So overall for gold, uh, I'm not seeing any opportunities yet. Let's see. Let's see what's the, the, the kind of uh, patterns that we um, printing for gold. Yeah, from what like I said, I don't really see any opportunities yet for gold. I would want this to see. Yeah, there are no opportunities for gold, honestly. Uh, uh, basically, I just think this pair might decide to touch down here, do a proper retest here, and then go back up. Uh, but gold is gold. It's usually very volatile. I would want to take this kind of position pending some uh, confirmation. But if I don't see those confirmations, I don't think it's, there's any need trying to long go but overall i would like to take a, sh a very quick buy for gold yeah i like to take a very quick buy for gold risking giving us a risk of um, uh risk to reward ratio of five five is to eight point two so that's what i think might happen for gold but i will wait for a liquidity grab in here and then a fake out to want to fake these people out first before going up. You can also guide it with the formation of this new. I doubt so. I don't really see any good patterns here. Or I think I'll just wait for gold to react on this level with some bullish confirmation before I go into the trade. So yeah, I'll be stopping here for now. If you like any of our content, you can. You can uh, reach out to us, um, Sami FX, for like, like our content, follow us on YouTube, and there, yeah, that's it. Thank you. That'll be all for now on our outlook. Then, if you have any pair you want us to review, you can do so in the comment section, and uh, we'll be able to do that for you. So, yeah. That'll be all. Thank you. See you next time, guys. Bye.